sorry. Turn on my No, hold on. Well, I guess it doesn't much matter if you've got mine. I think that's right. Are we good? Are we good? Everybody? Are we good? Everybody? Yeah. Yeah. That's your computer. Why is my computer? No, just, just close it. Why is my computer? No, just, just close it. There we go. Well, that's weird. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, as you guys know, this is Lindsay. She's the uh, the runner of the Chaos Divers. She pretty much that's makes weird. the decisions. I don't know about all that. You got the volume up. Um, all right. So, to answer your question, Josh Can too, yes, you are going to see the uh, Mini Winnie. So here it is. Um, it's actually done us amazing. Like um, Jared from AWP and and Doug and everybody, thank you guys for this. It, it's been a blessing to have this <clears throat> RV. It's saved a ton of money. Plus, you know, we were able to be comfortable on the road. What's up? Oh, we know here. Hi, <laughs> right, Fat Ross Fishing. Okay, <clears throat> so let's get started. For all those who don't know, this is a live stream. So anything after this, you guys won't be able to chat in the live stream. Um, we, we come to you to <clears throat> ask you guys a favor. Um, we need your help on these cases. These cases that we're going to be working on, Lindsay's going to tell you about them. Um, we want to include you guys. A lot of the, the, um, cases we've been working on have been potential, um, foul play. So we kind of wanted to stay under the radar while we worked on them. But now with these cases, yeah, one may be foul play, but it's been so long that I'm comfortable with talking about it. So Lindsay's going to talk about all the cases that we're going to work on in this trip. We're going to be heading to um, Kansas, Iowa, and Missouri, and uh, Illinois. So with that being said, I'm going to let Lindsay talk about the cases that we're going to be working on, the people we're going to be um, helping, the families. We're also going to um, explain to you when we're going to be there. So, so we are leaving this Friday. Um, right after monster truck yes my son and or the, we're gonna we're all we're gonna take the whole family and, and Lindsay's gonna take her family and we're gonna go to the monster truck rally and right after that we're yeah. gonna be heading for oh no nope, go, go ahead, ahead. <laughs> I, I I'm excited because I'm, I'm gonna be able to see another race of Eric's and with the race like this is huge for him. This is like the Super Bowl of bike riding. Yeah. So if anybody doesn't know, I mean, there's like the top three tiered bike riders out there. I'm not for sure what his name was, but he's going to be able to meet them. Hopefully get be able to talk to him and stuff like that. But I'm super proud of his advancements. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to let Lindsay, <laughs> I'm going to shut up. Um, so Eric's race, it's called Unbound Gravel. Like Jacob said, it's basically the Super Bowl of gravel racing. Um, Eric just recently found out that um, a three-time world champion is going to be racing in this. He's actually won it several times. Um, so we are leaving Friday night, and we are going to make it to Emporia, Kansas by 7 a.m. Because I promised. Oh, God. We're going to do it, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's um, six and a half hours. <laughs> yeah. So basically, we'll see Eric off on you know on the start line um and then we'll probably go find a parking lot to crash in um and sleep for a while um and then I have you know alarm set to wake up and check on Eric's progress things like that and update um you know his following things like that because we obviously can't see him he's on a hundred yeah. mile he's, he's on a hundred mile race yeah I think it's like a hundred and 104.6 something and no one's chasing him <laughs> by the way like, good no luck waking <laughs> jacob up that early okay i got you <laughs> right <laughs> um so eric's race is on saturday so saturday you know we're we're gonna you know be with eric in emporia kansas sunday is gonna be just a rest day 
I'm assuming Eric's probably not going to want to do anything. 106.4 miles. Oh, 106.4. So ride or dive is my... Is... Yeah, Eric's in here, yeah. ride or dive. So, hey, E. <laughs> um, so I'm assuming Eric's probably not going to want to do a whole lot Sunday um, if his legs even work. Mine wouldn't. <laughs> um, so Sunday's going to be just kind of a rest day for Eric. Um, and then an opportunity for us to... Um, you know, get Eric's things in the RV, get situated. Um, and then Monday we are taking off for Lawrence, Kansas. In Lawrence, Kansas, we are going to be looking for Robert Linneman. This is one of those cases that we definitely need help with. We haven't been able to find a lot of information on it. We haven't been able to um, contact anyone on it. Um, so if you're from Lawrence, Kansas or the area, um, reach out to us. We have the tip line 618-499-5129. Um, you didn't even read that. I'm really good with numbers. Uh, chaosdivers.com and then that's a direct link to me um, or on Facebook. Um, so that's definitely one of those cases. We need to know waterways, things like that. We've looked at maps, but there might There's, be a lot of things that we miss. Yeah, and 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 we're not we're not going to you know be like yeah we're gonna you know we, we want the locals help like yeah. the locals know the water's better the locals know uh, how long do you remember how long that uh, Robert Linneman has been missing so how you spell that is L I N N E M A N. Um, but um, I don't remember how long he's been missing. I didn't have that. So. I mean, I, have that but not eric from ride or dive will be with us for the next week after that so yeah he's coming with us um so we're going to be working on that case uh for um we're going to drive there on monday search monday you know pending on what time we get there um and then we're going to search tuesday that's the sixth and the seventh yeah the sixth and the seventh um and then we are leaving to go to Atchison, Kansas. And there we are searching for Mary Lou and Billy Black. Um, Mary Lou and Billy Black went missing back in the early 2000s. Um, they and their vehicle vanished. They left their home at night, left everything behind. Um, the Missouri River is right there. Um, looking at the maps i mean we've already looked at all kinds of things um as far as like routes they could have taken things like that so we have a good idea on on that on that yeah. case so we're going to be i'm probably going to have to fight the missouri again but hey it's it's it is what it is um and we're gonna you know try our best hopefully the clarity is just a little you know uh, better than what it was the last time i was in it Hopefully. <laughs> that the was Missouri horrible. Is, is not much better than, um, than the Mississippi from, yeah. from my understanding. So, um, our next case. So after we, we're going to be with, um, in Atchison, uh, we're going to drive there on the seventh that evening. Um, we'll be there searching the sixth, uh, excuse me, the seventh, eighth and ninth. And then we're going to head to Avery, Albia, Iowa on the 10th. That's the case that Jacob can probably fill you in the most on. And that's where we're going to be searching for Harry Milligan. Um, with Harry, I, t I talked to his brother. Um, we already have the spots that we're going to search per his brother, uh, Mark. Um, Mark has been fighting these demons in his head for the past 38 years on where his brother's been. Um, you know, the family's in real strong support. The community hopefully will get behind him. I do know that there's several behind him, and I know that we have some different locations that we're going to search. Hopefully get permissions from um, a family that owns a property now. Um, we're going to talk to them. Hopefully I can... I can research that area not to say that the police didn't do their job but as you guys already know that there's been a lot of things that we have went 
behind the police with with their lack of um, of knowledge on how to read the sonars um, on newer vehicles or older vehicles. I mean, it, it is an art, and with me and, and Lindsay and, and the whole team, even including AWP, when we do this every single day, is maybe not the lack of knowing how to write, read the sonar, but it's the lack of training. Like, they don't do that every day. Yeah. So hopefully I can, I can weasel my way in there and, and, and search the ponds that need to be searched again. Well, and not even that, but just technology sonar wise has come so incredibly far in the past five years. Yeah, just in the past five years alone. I mean, let alone, you know, 38 years ago. So that's something that, you know, we attribute a lot to. And we, well, not we, Jacob, <laughs> Jacob has learned with the advancements. So you know, every time something, you know, you can't, you had the helix and now we have the apex. But So he's learning with these advancements. Um, you know, we've, we've figured things out that we can do with the apex that we didn't even know was possible. So thank you, Carol Hazlitt for the hundred dollar donation. What that's going to do is it's going to, in the, you know, in the next month when we get it, it's going to put fuel in the vehicle. It's going to, uh, buy us some supplies. And speaking of that, there's been an outpouring of support with the whole um, Amazon wish list. Oh, oh yeah. my gosh. <laughs> I, 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 my kitchen table was full and it was stacked up. So Never if you guys it. purchased something, there was a lot that didn't have the names. Thank you guys so much. Like yeah. we have, we have gear now that I never thought I would ever have. We have a marine radio and stuff like that. We have, you know, hookups like whoops. that was almost bad. But yeah, I mean, we we are set up like you guys have came together and helped support this cause. And I want to say thank you. So continue, Lindsay, on that. You want um, something to drink? Sure. Um, so we are we're um, also. Blue Real quick, oh, what's my? Um, I know that chat's going crazy, and normally I would, um, I would be keeping up with it. But going through this list, um, I do go back through and read every single comment. Um, Jacob can attest that he yells at me, and he's like, "Lindsay, we don't have to do every single one, but we do every, we do." I go back through, I read every one. He reads every single one, um, so we will go back through. Um, so I apologize if we, if we miss something. Um, so again, so we're searching for Harry Milligan, um, Avery, Iowa, that will be, we're driving there on Friday the 10th. We are going to search Saturday, Sunday, and even Monday. If we, if we need that extra day, we have, we have time built in for that case. There is a lot of water. A lot of it seems to be smaller, um, ponds. So we'll be using the inflatable, which takes additional time for us, um, you know, to inflate and things like that. We did figure out a trick though. Yes. So we, we, we're actually inflating the, we're inflating the AWP boat. Once. Once, and then we're attaching it to Kyle's boat. Kyle's boat. <laughs> so we're actually able to strap it down and it's worked beautifully. Like, yeah. it's been a blessing to be yeah. able to do that. So. And we look a little bit crazy going down the road, but <laughs> if, I mean, all of you that know us, we are a little crazy, so that's okay. Um, so from there, um, we will leave Monday uh, Monday night and head over to East Moline, Illinois. That case, we are searching for Daniel Clays. That's another case that we definitely need help with. If you guys... You got to spell her name. His name. Oh, yeah, I'll get to that. Right, um, sorry. With Daniel Clays' case, um, there's a ton of water in that area, but we don't have a lot of information. We know that he borrowed a friend's truck, left, and then never came back. Um... So we will be searching for Daniel in, in East Moline, Illinois on Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, Daniel's last name is Clays. It's C-L-A-E-Y-S. Um, if anybody has any information or, you know, is familiar with the area or the case, please, please reach out to us. Um, anything, anything would be helpful. And then we are finishing the case with one of my... One, one of my favorite families. One of my favorite families. One of my favorite families. 
We're finishing. We're we're, we're we're finishing the <laughs> the trip up. Yeah, we're she finishing said the case. This, oh yeah, we're finishing this trip up with a case from one of my favorite families, um, and that would be the family of Johnny Irwin. <clears throat> there are at least two spots in Camdenton, Missouri, um, that Jacob cannot let go of. Um, we've found some information out since we've been there that has really kind of ate at you. Yeah, so there's there's a spot that we did search. I mean, you guys have you guys have seen it. There's a mosquito in here if it bites me. Um, you guys have seen the uh, <clears throat> you've seen an episode, and if you haven't, you can check it out. So what we what we found out is there's just <clears throat> there's been construction work. So with that, and with us having newer equipment, um, the Apex is going to see a lot clearer. I, I just want to recheck. So I'm going to recheck that area. We're also going to be searching another spot where um, Yvonne has gotten a, a new lead mm -hmm. on. And with that, there's a road that we never knew about. So we're yeah. going to check that area out and, and hopefully bring Donnie home. Like... They've been waiting almost eight years now, and it's it's been eating at me uh, over a lot eight over eight years. Yeah. And uh, so I, I want to help the family out. With all the families, we want to help them out. But you know, this there's there's certain there's certain things that get to me whenever we're working on these cases, and this one's this one's been eating at me. So I want to be able to do that. With all of this, it's because of you guys. Because of your donations through Facebook or uh, through uh, um, PayPal and, and Cash App, if anybody has those links, please put them in there because that honestly gives us fuel in the vehicle. Currently, um, the donations up there are super welcome. The super chats, we don't get that until a month later. So just be, uh, just know that, and know that what we're doing here. I'm sorry if this rain is really like hindering the voice, um, the sound. But just remember that what you're, what you guys do right now, super helpful. Without you guys, none of these families would have been helped. No, like, like the, the ten people that we brought home, I couldn't afford it. So I just want to personally say thank you for everything you guys have done. Um, what is? Uh, we're gonna open this up, or do you have anything that you want to? Good luck on your race, Eric. I didn't say that on the earlier. I, uh, I we're hope... so excited about announcing it that you forgot to say good luck. I, I did. <laughs> um, and if Garrett's watching, hello, Garrett. Oh yeah. Hi. Hi. He said he was gonna be on. I haven't seen him. And your dad and your and mom. My dad, yeah. Just uh, hello to everyone. Thank you to my dad. Yeah, he fixed the boat. He. So. I know most people think that their dad's like the best thing ever, right? My dad literally is one of the best people in the world. So like my dad is like if Chuck Norris and MacGyver had a baby, that's my father. <laughs> my dad can fix anything. We've been over there countless times and we're like, okay, this is what we have. This is what we need. And my dad whips out like a paper clip and a rubber band and he's like, done, fixed it. And I'm like, Okay. <laughs> so the the contraption that you may possibly see in some of the videos is how I got the the boat hooked up and the generator hooked up. So that was one of his um, concoctions that we we created, and uh, it works perfectly. So thanks again, Bill, for that. It's awesome. Um, yeah. So, um, but my dad, um, my dad, you know, went to work last night, got home this morning and came home and worked on the boat for us um so that way we could leave. there wasn't anything wrong per se um some screws on the ladder weren't meant for that so dad went through and fixed it for us so i'm good with this no i'm not because i can't hear no, I can't and, I can't, I, and i can't stop the rain well i don't know why not <laughs> i can't stop the wind either well what the heck baby zeus <laughs> um, I did see somebody ask if we were going back for Karen Adams. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> we never, we never. Yeah, we never stop. Um, when it comes to cases, 
Dad is laughing. <laughs> Jacob is the more emotional one. Hmm. He is. Um, we can hear Karen you loud Adams and clear. Karen Adams' case Check is the, the one seat. that got me. So we're going back. We're I I told Josh if I have to, I'll just rent property until she comes home. Yes. Make sure that your line is all the way to the end of the video. Thank you, Josh Can too. If anybody hasn't checked out Josh Can too, please check him out. He does have behind the scenes. He's working on a behind the scenes of us. Uh, I can't remember where he said he was. Graceland. Graceland. Yeah. We had a blast. Oh my god, it was so much fun. We had so much fun last year with the boys. Um, Carson McMaster. Josh, if you have his website, can you drop that in there? And somebody please drop Josh Cantu's link in or drop your own, Josh. Um, yeah, like, guys, check them out, support them like you do us. I can't, I can't explain how much you guys mean this. Um, I can't read that far. I can, but the light behind it. Oh. Oh, go ahead, talk. Oh. <laughs> um, so again, we are leaving this Friday night. We are meeting up with Eric on Saturday um, in Emporia, Kansas. Excuse me, for his race. Um, for his race on Saturday. Um, Sunday's a rest day, and then from there, we are um, hitting the road. Eric is going to be with us for the first week, and then um, after that, he has to go back to work, and then Jake and I are going to continue on to the to the Illinois case, and back down to Camdenton, which Eric may even be able to meet up with us in Camdenton, um, because he, he, he works right there, so, but we'll be... We're leaving Saturday. We are coming home the 17th or so. I have to be back in time for dinner on the 18th because that is my dad's birthday. We can't miss that. <laughs> um, so again, I can't, I can't thank you all enough. We're gonna open this up for a few questions. Um, I don't wanna keep you guys too long. Just know that Without you guys, these families wouldn't have answers, and that your money is going towards good things um, from start to finish. Even when I get paid through YouTube and Facebook, plus your donations, it all goes towards the gas in this RV and to feed her and to. Um, Waffle? Yeah. Yeah. And, and yeah. it all, yeah. It all goes back into the company. Um, I definitely, I, I just want to say thank you. It's, it's amazing. I um, keep saying that. When, when this is over, um, I'll, I can, if, if that's up to you. But I, I know a lot of people are kind of asking still, like exactly where and what cases. Um, I can put those in the description, the cases, so that way people can look at them. Who's Kevin James? Somebody says, I look like Kevin James with that. Oh, thing. Kevin James. You. One really? second, please. Oh, jeez. You know who Kevin James is. Sorry for unsub and whatever. <laughs> I know who he is. Okay. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll take that as a compliment. If I shave completely, King's a Queen Dad. If I shave, uh, shave completely, I look like John Candy. God rest his soul. Um. So yeah, I don't have anything, but I'm I'm more than happy to you know put those cases up. Um, you know their names and, and where they were from, so that way if anybody can help. Britain will not be on this trip. No, Britain's actually getting ready to. Depths of history. He's getting ready to go to Alaska. Go to Alaska. Yeah. He's, he's gonna be gone for months. He's packing. I think he leaves what the 27th of June. I think he said so. Um, so if there's any, questions? yeah, we're going to go ahead and open it up for questions on this, uh, update on Atlanta theft. Absolutely nothing. Um, we're marking it as a uh, lesson learned. 
don't ever, ever, <laughs> ever go to Atlanta, Georgia and the aquarium unless you're in the actual garage. Yeah. And um, even then. <laughs> even then. So, or go to the hotel and drop all your stuff off. We didn't have that capability. Yeah. Um, so, we're just... It wasn't an option. It wasn't an option. Um, we were going to go back. So, if you get Amazon cards, do you save them until you get enough to get something on your wish list? Currently, we have $250 on our wish list on Amazon gift cards. Um, we are going to be purchasing one of the bigger items yeah. on the list. Did you ever get your stuff back? No, we did not. What's your next case, Jacob? Teresa, we went over that um, earlier, but the case that we're going to be going on first is Robert Lineman in Lawrence, Kansas. Yes. Um, any trips planned with AWP or exploring with Nug? We will be meeting up with AWP in the next, I think in October or October, um, November, somewhere around yeah, there. Yeah, um, when they do for their the fall trip. Yeah, when they do that fall trip, then we'll, you know, we'll meet up with them again for sure. Um, who's, who's, who's? Um, oh, I know him. Um, that's, um, I know who it is. I want to okay. make him a moderator, and you I can't. can't. Online. Oh. Um, well, here. here. No, I can't. I can't here, hold on. Give me a second. I'm going to make uh, this one. The reason why you can't do that. Uh oh. Uh oh. If I. Ooh. I about. <laughs> I about screwed up there. Diving for hope. I'm going to make you a uh, a moderator. Um. Brian, I'll send you everything after. Hope you got your Cracker Barrel card, Travis White. Travis. Yeah, you actually got it, yes. yes. You got it yesterday. Yes, yes, I got it yesterday. Um, I, I need. I don't need to be yelling. Sorry. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna purchase one of those batteries, the lithium ion batteries. And the reason uh, why yeah. we're gonna do that is because those batteries are so daggum heavy. Even the smaller one that I have for the boat, super heavy. And one of the lithium batteries that that are on the list, I can lift. I can lift it up with a pinky. Um, they're super light and they last a long time. So I'm sorry for yelling. I, I guess I've, I've been yelling um, the whole time. There was a few things. One, somebody asked if we were going to be back in Indianapolis. Yes, when when we have time, then you know we'll put that back on our route. Um, and then, so we are going. Um, we're going to Lawrence, Kansas, Atchison, Kansas, Alvia, Avery. Um, right in that area, Avery, Iowa, East Moline, Illinois, and back down to Camdenton, Missouri. Um, and then again, I'll I'll put those up after. Um, if you guys don't know how to access the description, there's a little arrow in the corner. Yes, Ninja Mama, we did. We got those arrows. Oh, we got those arrows. arrows. We got those angels. Thank you so much. Um, in, in, in our next solve, I'm actually going to toss toss one in the water or leave it in the location that we found her, him or her. So thank you so much for those angels. That's it's, it's really neat. It's it's really nice uh, gesture. Um, but if you guys don't know how to read the description on the videos, go in. There's a little arrow, and you push on it. When you do, can you actually bring up one of those so I can show them? What? Like, so right here. If you ever, if you have an issue with finding the description, it's that little arrow right there. You push that, and you can read all the description here. And in that description is going to have our um, hotline, the little tip line, the anonymous tip line. They'll have the uh, cases that we're working on. Um, what we're looking for is information, some back roads, um, kind of look at their look at the case and kind of give your guys' opinion. Um, there is one thing that I, please don't take this the wrong way, but we don't need a, a thousand people meeting up with us. We're, we're here to work. We're just asking for your, um, your, for your opinions. We're asking for your suggestions on where to look, you know, because there's not, there's some places that weren't even there three years ago. Like I searched a spot and somebody called me and said, Jacob, that was just built two years ago. I'm like, oh, 
Well, that explains why it was so clear. So that's stuff we don't know. So uh, an insight would be amazing. Um, Melissa, yes, we did get that. I think that came yes, yesterday as thank well. You so, so much. thank you for that. Um, Stephanie Grace, thank you for becoming a member. Somebody else became a member earlier when I was going through. Um, who is going through the cases? So I apologize, but thank you so much. You, you guys really don't understand how much it helps when you become a member. Just watching, sharing, liking, like Josh. <laughs> that that is incredible when you guys do that. Some some people some people don't know how to get to the uh, to the scripture. Like there's a lot of people who don't read them. Gary Long said it's raining cats and coyotes. Hey, Gary, happy late birthday. No, today is birthday. Happy birthday. I'm positive that today is Gary Long's birthday. One of my other favorite family. <laughs> um, Patriot Solutions, creativesolutions.com. Yes. Diving for Hope. That right there is um, Carson McMaster's new website. Um, he is, it's, it's pretty nice, so check that out. Somebody asked if you got your hair cut. They did get a haircut. Nope, got them all cut. <laughs> he got a haircut and a shave. shaved, yeah. trimmed up. Yeah. I'm pretty shy, Yeah. <laughs> got them all cut. You're literally such an old man. <laughs> Smack him, please. Yeah. What? Liz Bradshaw says smack him. Oh. Membership link. Um, oh. Momento. Becoming with becoming. I was trying to say with becoming a member and something else at the same time. With becoming a member, guys, that all goes towards fuel, supplies, and everything. And it's a monthly donation. Um, we do have the option of one time donations, and we also have the membership. So thank you so much. Oh. Somebody said that was such a dad joke. Um, will you be meeting up with Bryson at all? Um, I don't think we have any plans to meet up with Bryson right now. But Die for good? No. I'm always down to go see Bryson. So Bryson's awesome. I love Bryson. You're my boy blue. Always down to see Bryson. Hi, Sean. Oh, so... I've repaired some stuff on the RV that I have broke in the past couple days. Um, but all in all, everything in this RV is solid. What did you break in the last couple days? That drawer. And a couple other things I don't remember. I think a door back there. Just little chintzy stuff that I could fix. Um, but motor-wise, we just got the, um, the RV all lubed up and ready to leave. Um, got it all serviced. Everything is good on it. Um, it. It's running solid, so we'll be able to get everything done um, and hopefully bring some families home, family members that need to be brought home. Eric is on top of it today. What do you mean? So Eric. Ask for something, and then I go to put it up, and Eric's putting it up right before me. That's that's rare. I did add lights. Oh, I'm. Oh. oh. Jared's gonna be mad at me. Yeah, we weren't supposed to show Josh and Carson the cool lights that we put up. Hey, Josh. And they <laughs> they change and dance and do with the music and. I'm in so much trouble with Jared. <laughs> <laughs> um, somebody asked how big the gas tank is on this thing, and I don't remember. I know it's bigger than 42. Uh, 40. Mine's 36, and this yeah, is 42. I think so. Yeah. Um. He said, whoa. <laughs> I know, right? I wanted that. <laughs> it's, it's, I it's, don't want to be around when Jared calls you after this. Arnold Grubbs. Hey, that's a good last name, buddy. You Just, say that to him every time. I know. <laughs> it's got a good last name. Thank you so much for that donation. That's incredibly kind of you. Um, so a little update on Dad. Actually, Dad's been getting up by himself going outside going out in the garage piddling around with some of his stuff um, making my mom super upset for shaving off all of his hair 
um, like all of it. Uh, um, but he's been he's been going around and and seeing the family, you know, and and, and his friends. So he's been getting out. Um, he's doing really good. So um, he still has, you know, still on oxygen and stuff like that. But he's he's actually he actually made me mad because he hasn't been wearing his oxygen bottle whenever he goes out. But it's whatever. They are great in the pitch dark. Like seriously. Oh, Josh had asked. We still have these ones up, Josh. Watch. Yeah, these are still up. But watch this. This is like so cool. That one. Like it's still bright as can be in here. Yeah. And. Woo. <laughs> hey. All right. Somebody with seizures. All right, we're right. gonna turn the lights back on somehow. That one I think went burned out. I know, it burned out somehow. Man, this stuff. rain is horrible. All right, guys, enough playing. They were like 30 bucks at Walmart. I couldn't pass them up. Um. So again, I'll put the cases in the description. Um, we're going to Lawrence, Kansas to look for Robert Winneman. We are going to Atchison, Kansas to look for Mary Lou and Billy Black. We are going to Avery, Iowa for Harry Milligan. East Moline, Illinois for Daniel Playas. We're going to back down to Camdenton, Missouri for Donnie Irwin and then making it home in time for my dad's birthday so that way I'm still the favorite child. Um, Josh just asked if there was any leaks. Josh, on flat ground there is a leak and that is because on flat ground on the back in the uh, in the master bedroom, it swags a little bit. So all that water just sits up on top of there on flat ground. But if I, I try to leave a little angle to let that water go off, but I don't know if Lindsay remembers the guy's name. This, Eric. Yeah, Eric, but like his company name. Not it. We have a guy donating some supplies and also his 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 time, his labor, and he's going to roll another roof on this RV. And it's not like the Snow White stuff. It's actually like top. It's like top of the line, but a different product. So it's like super low cost. Um, but it's just pretty much like Walmart brand to the the main brand. But Walmart brand still great. Um, but yeah, he's. He's going to guarantee it for 20 years. This vehicle's not going to last 20 more years. Um, a couple of questions that I saw. Somebody had asked how many people are on the Chaos Divers team. So, Jacob is Chaos Divers. I am assistant. I just do camera work and that kind of stuff. And then when Eric is able to be, he's with us on the road. So, Jacob is Chaos Divers. I'm just the camera lady. <laughs> They're all and then Chaos Eric, Divers. Eric, when he can come with us, he, he can we, come we, with us. We have a team of three. And when, um, you know, when the other folks are with us, they're part of the Chaos Divers too. Like, you know, as much as Jared doesn't want to think this, he is part of the Chaos Divers. Josh is too. Sure. should. Okay. Josh is too, you know, everybody is. Like, Adventure of the Ozarks, what's going on? I appreciate the uh, donation, man. You didn't have to do that, buddy. I appreciate it, though. Fiona, thank you for that donation as well. If we've missed anything, I do apologize. I've been going back and forth. Um, between the chat and then as well as, you know, the cases and stuff, so that way I can keep you guys updated. Start what? Good ideas? Oh. Um, Steven, yes, my dad still has his huge collection of fish and lures. Huge. Yeah, it's, it's raining super hard out of here. Alright guys, so, uh, we've been on for 39 minutes. Um, we're kind of getting a little, uh, I don't even know, like, super off topic here. So I want to keep this nice and short, um, shorter than you know an hour and a half long live stream. Oh, I just like that you said we're getting off topic. Uh, Buckeye RV, yeah, but that's not the one that's doing it. He has done a lot of work to it, uh, this, and he's going to do it again. Yeah, we are taking the RV back. Um, when we're done with this case, but because of 
when we were coming home and then leaving again, we didn't want to um, like put any pressure on them to like, oh my gosh, get everything fixed right now. So we're taking it back, but it'll be after um, after we get home from this case. We'll we'll make a trip up there to to Ohio and drop the RV back off. Tracy Street, thank you so much for being a member, becoming a member. Okay, so again. Oh, if, Allie, let me go see if I can find it. Lori Smock, thank you so it. much for being on here. Lori Smock is our our go-to fan here in Harrisburg. So whenever I bring somebody in here, she's got to meet them. She's got to give them a big old Lori Smock oh, hug. Oh, Lori Smock hugs, for real. <laughs> What are we looking for? Um, so he said they asked a question, but we had missed it, and I didn't. I, Just ask again. Been, might have been too far, um, too far up. So. Uh, Shandon uh, Martinez, Shanda. Yeah. Martinez, thank you so much. So, with everything, Lindsay's explained where we're going to be heading, what we're going to be doing why we're doing it. We need your help. Please reach out to us on the tip line. 618-499-5129. I'm never going to remember that. Chaosdivers.com. Even check out the merchandise there. Like we have shirts available and, and hats and stuff like that. And that all goes towards um, the fuel and stuff like that. In the description, guys, we're going to have if you guys want to do a, a now donation, you've got the Cash App, PayPal. Um, I, my Venmo actually is locked, so I don't. Um, I got to figure out why. Um, it says it's. I'm not identified. I was able to get the money and put it in my account, but I wasn't. I just. I got to fix that. Regardless, um, you know, if you guys are not wanting to do that, we also have chaos. We also have the PO box. PO Box 962. I think he just put it up. Eric, put that up. Um, you guys are more than welcome to send a check. You guys are more than welcome. Please, actually, please send me a letter. Um, I like hearing from you guys. It's fun. Seriously, he like gets so <laughs> giddy about it, and like he sends me pictures of like every letter, postcard, anything he gets. He's like, oh, look at this one. Oh, look at this one. Like he I, saves like yeah. Every I, time like when I come over, he's like, oh, here's this. Like. There was a. Uh, there was so a. So excited about it. I'm actually gonna, cause I, I wanna I wanna inter, not introduce. I wanna say thank you on this one. Um. So as far as the weather goes, if it's raining, we'll search. Um. The rain does not stop us. Um. At all. Um. It's really more so if it's storming, and we'll actually. We've actually you know searched in the morning. It stormed in the afternoon. We'll kind of wait it out and get back on the water. Um, but we do have extra days built into each one of these cases. Um, that's something that, you know, we learned from being on the road with AWP. Um, you know, allow yourself that time because things are going to happen to where you need that extra time. So, um, you know, you know, Jared started adding in additional days. Um, you know, we've kind of followed suit. Just something that we found works best for us. Plus, uh, some of us don't always wake up super early so there's that okay this is really touching so Laura Randalls and Sarah uh, slot from uh, hold on what school is that from there I thought it was on here but this not I think it's on the Connor Middle, Connor Middle School. So, to whom it may concern, the faculty and staff of Connor Middle School participate in Casual Dress Day as a fundraiser for local organizations. Please accept this donation on behalf of the VCMS on Grand Islands in the memory of our colleague Lisa uh, Farring, Farrington, Farrington's yeah. brother. Thank you for your hard work with this important charity. When a, when a school comes together and, and supports what we do, uh, when anybody supports what we do, 
It's it's a blessing and it's an honor to work for you guys. We are working for you. Um, you know, the families I know appreciate each and every one of you that we've helped and that are helping. I know Gary Long has been so gracious to us and yeah. we're coming back, Gary. Don't think we're not going to come yeah. back. Uh, we still got Karen Adams. We still have um, Eddie Tate Jr. We still have um, Ryan Taylor. Mm. We're all we're yeah. coming back. Now, I can't say tomorrow, but as soon as I get this group even bigger, we can expand even more and help even more. Well, and I think so. The trip that we just took, where we went to Kentucky, and then we went to the Longs, and then we went up to you know Karen Adams. That's that's something that we can repeat. You know that that case was pretty much stacked right there. Um, and then um, we're definitely going back down, you know, for Ryan Taylor um, in Mississippi. There's another amazing, amazing family. Um, you know, people just want answers and we want to help provide, you know, provide those however we can. This, is, this, isn't, this isn't a gift that I was given. Anybody can do what we're doing. Um, you know, reaching out to you guys, you know, if you guys have a boat, if you guys have a sonar, get out there, the fishermen. Report the cars that you're fishing off of. That was a little harsh. Yeah. But that's the thing, though. Like, if you see something in the water, get a hold of somebody. Anybody, get a hold of somebody. Um, that could be somebody's loved one. You know, or it could be, you know, the link to, to a case. Um, perfect example, you know, Charles Hanlon. Um, we were able to find his truck. Charles was not, you know, Charles wasn't in the vehicle um, from what we know. Um, but that's, that's a huge piece of the puzzle, um, you know, about Charles, Charles Hanlon's missing person's case. Um, if you see something, get a hold of somebody and we're more than happy if we can to come look at it. If we can't make it, we we share information with with other teams constantly. So you know, this is not this is not a one man this is not a one team deal. Like you know, with with Britain down there, at depths of history. Hey, Britain, I can't make it down here. Can you check this out for us? Yeah. Hey, Jared from AWP, can you check this out from us? You know, for us. And you know, it's just, just things like that that we we share information as the same as we sh you know they they share with us. So it's a group community, and it's because of you guys. And to answer your question about how many chaos divers are on the team, I don't know. It's however many show up. Right now, we have 714 chaos divers. Well, I was talking about like seven hundred fourteen. All of you are chaos divers. <laughs> it's a whole team effort. But I was thinking more of like you know day in day out. So guys, <laughs> thank you so much. I'm gonna uh, we're going to end this um, with the I think I've said thank you about fifteen times. But guess what? Thank you. Never enough. Um, I have been blessed with a lot of help, but I've also, in return, haven't slept in six months, driven 60,000 miles. You slept for like three days straight last time I came home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. Um, we're nonstop. Um, so I want you guys to know that. What you're doing for us is for the families. So thanks again. Love each and every one of you. Keep diving. It's not where to stop, which means somebody out there loves you. And if they don't, we love you. And um, let's bring them home. Let's bring them all home. I wish I could bring every single one of these people home. So, love you. Bye. I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much.